allowed a, a point. Uh, battle, a battle, wasn't it? But it was a good point. I think in the context of things and off the back of the week we've had, um, it's an excellent point for us against a very good team. Um, they've got lots of good players flying at the minute. Had a great win during the week at Chorley, which is probably one of the hardest places to go. So we spoke Thursday, Friday about being solid, being organised, making it horrible, and um, and just showing everybody that we're up for a, for a scrap. And um, I thought the lads did that tremendously well today. And um, Game of very few chances, lack of quality. Felt we had the best chance in the game. I know that Joan has made a great save down to his left, a uh, bit of a deflected shot, but I felt Greg Taylor's chance was the best chance in the game. Um, and their keeper made a, made a save. So I think we were well worthy of, of a point, and that you know gives us something to build on now. Was it from the start damage limitation given what happened Tuesday? No, it, no, it, it's, it was about getting our way through sections of the game today. I think in recent games where we've conceded a goal and we've suffered a bit of adversity out there, we've we've allowed it to affect us for probably the next five to ten minutes of the games and then we've conceded another quick fire goal and then the, the mountain's even bigger. So we've spoke about being solid, being organised, giving giving nothing away, um, just being a real compact unit and um, I felt second half we had a little bit more of an attacking threat than we did in the first half, but I think that is a consequence of us growing in confidence throughout the game. You know, we've obviously kept them at bay, a good team at bay, kept ourselves in the game, and I think you saw that little bit of confidence and belief come back to the players as that second half grew. Um, when we had a couple of opportunities, uh, one or two set players where that it was almost like the, the, the players and, and the supporters sensed that there might just be something there for us today. I think it's fair to say that they finished the stronger, you know, in the last five minutes or so and put us under pressure. But I think that was because we, we had lads absolutely running on empty and we had obviously had to make a couple of changes. But we we, we stuck in there and we showed spirit and and uh, grittiness and I think it's a, it's a good point for us. It was the reaction, wasn't it, from Tuesday, which, which was needed, given that the reaction you got at the end of Tuesday, to, to it was quite the opposite today. Yeah, because, but you, listen, you expect that. I mean, I, I'm a football fan myself. You know, if my team gets rolled over like that at home and, and shows that type of performance, in given the position that we're in as well, I, I'd probably react the same. You know, and we've we, we've had to take that on the chin. It's been a tough week for us. It's, it's tested us as this week, but I think we've showed today that we've got a real spirit and a character and, and, and a, a fight about us so we, we won't be giving up we'll be grafting our knackers off every day and every game and we've set a standard there today where we've, we've got to maintain that level of organisation, competitiveness and if you can then just sprinkle a little bit of quality onto that to, to create opportunities then we'll have a chance of winning games again um, so I think we've got to take the positives from that today. And I think, to be fair, I thought the supporters were brilliant today, particularly off the back of Tuesday. You know, they, they got behind the team right throughout the game. Um, they clapped the lads off at the end because they, they appreciate and saw the efforts that they gave them. And we've got to keep giving them something to get behind. And we will, we will achieve that through keep putting in that level of effort and commitment for this football club. And if we, if we do that, I'm still absolutely convinced we'll be fine. So, so defensively, it was much improved. Yeah. Still, at, at the other end, the chances aren't forthcoming on, on a, a regular enough basis. No, no, they, they, they haven't been, and we've got to we've got to accept that. But what what we did say today was that the way we were going to set up and, and play to to kind of restrict a good team to very few opportunities was that our opportunities might be few and far between, um, and that we might have to play for occasional moments in the game set players would be important um, and you know what was important was that the lads understood that and, and bought into it and they, they absolutely did uh, we, we know that we've got to you know create opportunities um, you know going into next week we've got probably our most creative player Ben Stevens back who's been a massive miss for us um, and he has got that little bit of quality to link you know the, the the units, the back the back line, and the midfield players to the to the attackers, and and he will be like a new signing for us come come next weekend. But I think the key for us today was to not get beat, not get beat, 
be organised, play for moments. We had a massive moment, didn't manage to take it, but we managed to keep a clean sheet and we'll take the positives out of that. Has it also been able to find your preferred strike partnership on a regular basis as well? Um, well, to be fair, it's, it, it's, it's been a challenge for us, our, our stri strike force, because we've obviously had Jordan injured, came back injured again. Um, we've obviously had Bartos, who has done great for us in certain games. I thought he was tremendous today. Today he's been out, he's been out injured. He's been really struggling with his ankle, and he is still struggling with his ankle. But you know, I pulled him on first. I said, "Look, I need you. I need you on the pitch. You know, if you if you're playing in the AFL, they'd be chucking a needle into your ankle every week, and you'd be going out there and playing. We need you. Our leading goal scorer, and we need you. And fair play, he's, he's accepted that challenge, and he's he's given us everything there for while he was on the pitch." Um, Johnny's not been able to train with us this week because he's had to work his notice at Doncaster. So we've done a lot of work Thursday, Friday, obviously with, with him not involved, which is why he, he was obviously, you know, started the game on the bench. Um, but we've got we've got good options there for Owen did well today. Um, and obviously with Ben coming back, I'm, I'm sure that we'll um, we'll start to, you know, establish partnerships at the top end of the pitch that can hopefully fire us to a few more goals. One other change obviously was Sam starting and, and what a shift. He put in for 80 minutes. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he's just um, he's just a top player, you know. Um, doing the heading that he's not been available. But, you know, over a mixed grill at Mem's Kitchen last night, I said I need you. <laughs> and we're just going to have to, you know, get you through it. And um, Has he not been available? For, for what reason has he not been No, he's had, he, he's had an issue with his calf. Um, and... It's a bit of a strange one, really. He, he, he trains, you know, and, and he feels fine. And then sometimes he'll feel just tighten up and it just tighten up a little bit there. But to be fair, the game was, was tough and the pitch was, was getting heavy and he's got through a massive chunk of it. And you saw, I thought that Cameron and, and George playing in there, they looked a, a lot better, probably for having an old red in there with them. Um, but he just set standards and he, you know, he's a, he's a leader. He's a leader of men. And, um, you know, that's a. Have to just get him uh, get him right again this week and, and see. I think there'll be certain games where we have to use him. I think there'll be other games that might not be as suited to him. Um, but you know, I thought he, he was great today. But it was a clean sheet. It was a point. Hopefully now this is something to move on from. Well, it has to be. It has to be. Um, we know we need to win games of football. You know, we um, and we know we know what's acceptable and what's not. We we've took all the all the. Um, Things that have come our way after the back of Tuesday night, and you know you've got to take things on the chin in football. If you're not good enough, you've got to you've got to add, accept it, and we have. But what we've done in the last two days is we've stuck together, picked ourselves up, and we've come and put a big big shift and performance in today that shows that we care and that we're up for a scrap. And uh, we've just got to maintain that now for the rest of the season. Had Sam had any clue before he dived into the? the pork sausage or whatever it was that you were going to play him or because obviously you haven't been able to no I I just said to him yesterday I said how do you think you could get through a, a decent section of the game um, and, uh, and and probably just with the nature of, of the injury that he's, that he's got it, you probably don't know until you try and we just felt kind of given the back of Tuesday and you know where we kind of are we, we, we needed a, a, we needed just an older head in there, we felt. And, uh, you know, I planted the seed last night, so just sleep on it and see how you feel. And felt felt good this morning. He, he was well up for giving it a go, and I thought he was he was outstanding for us. So, um, but, you know, that's, um, he, he's just he's just a top, he's a top player and he's a top man, do you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's a leader. And, um, you know, if we can get him out there in certain games that we feel need his skill set, then um, it'd be a fantastic option for us. Will you be asking him to do the job next week and the week after? You know, it, 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 or was it because he was it had that one-off feel about it, or, or do you want him to be a regular? In there? <laughs> I ain't even thought about next week to be honest. I was just <laughs> thinking about thinking about today. So um, but you got a game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, we do, and, and a big one. Mm. Um, but I think we've got we are, we've got options. Uh, we've got options. But I just felt with the way that we were setting up today. And particularly with the way they play with a narrow midfield and very good technicians in the middle of the park, we needed somebody in there who, was, who could just talk and almost guide the younger players through the game. Um, I, think, I think if we'd have been ill-disciplined in there with our shape and we'd have got our midfield players dragged out to the sides of the pitch, 
they probably would have played through us and that's that they're the moments that they're looking for. I think if you look at a lot of their goals, they're very good on, on turnover of the ball, they get it in between your lines very quickly and then they look to release two very lively strikers and for us today the game plan was just to deny them space in the middle of the pitch, show them to the sides and then and then adjust from there and, and I felt with his experience in there and, and probably um, compose like nature. I think it really helped George and Cameron, who, who I thought were equally as good. You think it was a penalty when Dewey went there? Absolutely. Hundred percent. I can but see you, from but there. Listen, when when, <laughs> when when you're down there, you, nothing goes for you, does it? So I'm, I don't know. Is is honestly, obviously, I'm going to say yeah, it was. But um, some people seem. Yeah, owner saw it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he did. He sees everything, but. Yeah. But we we're in a, we need something like that to go for us, mm. you know. We need a decision like that to go for us. A lot of things have gone against us, but that's just the nature of the beast. When you're down there, everything goes against you. Mm. Um, but at some point, if you if you show that level of effort and commitment, uh, eventually things turn. You, you get out of life what you put into it, and if you keep working hard, you will turn the tide. So we didn't get it today, but hopefully we'll get something next week. Um, I know you're not one to look at the league table very often, no. but what is required, do you think, points-wise, to keep you up for the season? Um, honestly, don't know. I haven't even really thought about it, to be honest with you, which you know I might get might get criticised <laughs> for, but um, we need to win, and we, we can't we can't focus too far ahead. We we have to just now go game by game. So we've got a big game next week, I think. All the pressures on them because they're obviously beneath us in the league. Although I haven't seen their result today, but they'll be they will still be beneath us in the league. They're at home, so all the, all the pressures on them next week. So you know we, we know that obviously there's there's an expectation on ourselves, um, but we've got to go there and put in a big performance. But we have to do that in every game, uh, every single game, um, and I, and I don't think we should focus too much on what other teams do. We've just got to focus on ourselves and. There's, there's lots of games, the next one's the most important um, and then we'll move on to the one after that and, and, and so on until the end of the season. But if we can if we can be that organised and be that solid and restrict the opposition to very, very few chances and just have a little bit more quality going the other way, I've no doubt we'll be all right. I know you said on uh, after Tuesday night, sometimes it's easier playing away from home. Mm. Are you glad you're away from home next week? Well, I don't. I don't want people to think, you know, that I, I'm being negative about. I, I, I love it here, you know. I do. I think that the supporters are outstanding. I think when when we give them something to shout about, they're the best. The best group of supporters I've had the privilege of, of managing. But the flip side of that is, if you're rubbish, they'll let you know, and that's that. We we fully expect that. Our away support has been fantastic as well. Every every single time we go away from home, there's a strong group of supporters there cheering the players on I have absolutely no doubt that they'll be there in the numbers at, um, at Gloucester it, it is difficult playing here under the pressure because naturally we've got a lot of you know supporters in the ground um, and the pitch but it's probably more the pitch that makes it, it difficult because it's not you know the, the, the groundsman's obviously done a fantastic job this is probably the best it's been that you know the, the amount of grass on it at this time of year is probably the best it's been in years but it's not always conducive to playing a, a slick, free-flowing game of football, particularly in the situation that we're currently in. So we've got to find a way of being horrible here and making it a real hostile, difficult place to come, like we did today. Um, but I think on the road, when we know that we can, there's a, a bit, bit better surface and we can trust the pitch a little bit more, then I do think we, we create more opportunities, as, as we did at Buxton and as we did at, at Hereford. Uh, where we scored two goals in each, so I think prior to that we had um, obviously we weren't great at Boston, but we had Southport away and good pitch, and we went down there and showed what a good side we can be on on our day. So every game's tough. We we do enjoy being here when when we give the supporters something to get behind, but we've got to be able to pick points up both here and on the road. It's another three G pitch next week as well, isn't it? Yeah, we love them. Do you, do you mean that or not? Well, no, I, think we, I think we performed well. Um, take, you take the Tamworth game out, maybe Scarborough. Have we performed that well? <laughs> um, I think Rushall, we probably one of our most free-flowing games that we've played. Um, you know, we, we've got we have got good players. We we have got good players, but confidence and belief are two massive things. 
and I think trust it, it, you know for, for lads to play off one and two touch and generally that's how it has to be when you get close <laughs> to the opposition's goal and there's less space it becomes more combinations and playing off one and two touches and it's difficult to do that when you can't entirely trust the pitch you've got to you know secure the ball and maybe take an extra touch and then you've got bodies around you so it, it, it can be challenging here at times but I think on a, on a flat um, artificial pitch at least you know you can generally trust the the role of the ball and um, and hopefully we can pose a little bit more of an attacking threat when we go to Gloucester next week.